Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a report chart to a record page in Salesforce. So here are the two most common reasons I find for using a report chart on a record. The first is to give you a quick summary of complex information. The other reason is to reinforce the priorities of the business or the organization. So for example, if you have a chart on an account record that shows you opportunity pipeline, then it's pretty clear that opportunities are important to the business. Similarly, you could have a chart that shows the amount of time it takes to close a case for that particular account, or maybe it's the amount of donations that you've received from that particular person. Having a chart like that is a visual representation of data, but it's also showing you something that's important to the organization. So let's add a chart to this account page. Now, what I wanna do is have a visual representation of the opportunities that are related to this specific account. The first thing we need is a report that has a chart already added to it. Now I've already got that created. It's, it's a report on all opportunities, looking at them by stage. Once you have that, you can edit the lightning record page by clicking the gear in the upper right-hand corner and clicking edit page. On the left-hand side, we have all of these different lightning components. The one that we want is called report chart. Take that and drag that over wherever you'd like that chart to show up. And then on the right-hand side, choose the report that you want to display. It's actually already selecting my report of all opportunities by stage, but you'll probably have to search or, or select that report from here. And that's going to pull in the report chart that we already created. Now there's one additional thing and it's an optional thing that you can add to this report, and I would recommend that you do so, it's, it's this filter by setting. So if you don't select the filter by, you're just gonna get the data from the underlying report, which could be useful, but more likely we wanna look at this data in the context of this particular account. That's why we're adding it to the account record in the first place. So you can select filter by, and you can use the account ID or even the parent account ID of this record to filter this particular chart. And this can apply in a lot of different ways, depending on what type of record you're looking at and, and what filters you have applied to your report. So here we're taking that same all opportunities by stage report, but we're only looking at the opportunities now for this specific record. And this is relative. So it's gonna change every time you look at a different account. So in this case, we just have one that's in the proposal price quote stage, and we have one opportunity that is closed one. Let me click save and hit the back button. And now our chart is on the record. If you want to edit this chart, you need to go to the underlying report and make your changes there. Any of those changes are they're going to flow through wherever you have this embedded in your Salesforce org. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.